and welcome to the session on Zone Redundancy in Azure SQL Managed Instance. Zone Redundancy is a feature that provides increased resiliency for your databases by leveraging the inherent resiliency built into the architecture of the Azure region themselves. Most Azure regions offer multiple availability zones, and availability zone is essentially a separate physical location within a region with independent power, cooling, and networking. And then that allows us providers of services in Azure to leverage the fact that uh, we can spread our services across availability zones so that no failure in a single location can actually bring your service down. So advantages of zone redundant config in SQL managed instance and most other services include synchronous replication, automatic failover, and improved service level agreement. When we look at the architecture of Zone Redundant General Purpose Service tier, as you can see, what changes the most is that the spare nodes have been spread across different availability zones, Zone 1, Zone 2, and Zone 3. And also the gateway services have been spread across availability zones so that no single zone going down will bring all of the nodes in the cluster and all of the gateways in the cluster. And then in addition to that, we're now using zone redundant storage both for the data and log files and also for the backup files, meaning that a failure of any one zone uh, in Azure for whatever reason will not bring down your instance since we can do we can fail over to one of the other nodes and keep using other uh, gateway services uh, and the storage also remains available since it's zone redundant so your instance continues to grow to continues to work. When it comes to zone redundant architecture for the business critical service tier, if we compare the default architecture, which is regional or non-zone redundant, to the zone redundant architecture, we can see that since zone redundant configuration is aware of multiple availability zones, what we can do is we can spread the secondary replicas of the service across the availability zones, again, to ensure that in case of any one of the AZ is going down, it does not bring all of the replicas. Since the business critical service tier uses quorum commit, it can afford and it can continue to work even if one of the replicas goes down. So one of the zones going down will not cause an availability and your, da your database instance will continue to function normally. It's also important to call out that we're supporting zone redundant storage for your backups. Again, ensuring that your backups are available in case of the uh, zone goes down. And here's a quick overview of the availability SLA guarantees provided by the major cloud database services platform providers. As you can see, both AWS RDS and GCP Cloud SQL offer 99.95% .99 uptime SLA, which translates to up to about 22 minutes of downtime per month. On the other hand, even the non-zone redundant Azure SQL configurations offers four nines of availability SLA guaranteed, and then the zone redundant business critical Azure SQL configuration offers four and a half nines, or 99.995% uptime SLA, which translates to only up to two minutes of downtime per month, making Azure SQL in the zone redundant config the clear market leader when it comes to availability guarantees. Now let's take a look at the short demo of zone redundancy in Azure SQL Managed Instance. So for our quick demo today, we're going to take a look at how to create a zone redundant Azure SQL Managed Instance using Azure Portal. So I've selected my subscription where I want to create the instance. I've selected the region. And as I scroll down to the options, I see this compute and storage configuration. I will click configure Managed instance here to show more details for compute and storage. And as you can see, here I can choose between the general purpose and business critical service tiers, several different configurations of hardware. I can configure my vCores and storage, and I can also choose if I want my instance to be zone redundant. It's as simple as choosing yes in this option. And if I scroll down, click apply, and continue to fill in all the options, I will get a zone redundant managed instance once the instance has been created. And if you want to learn more, you can check the links in the videos for SQL Managed Instance and also the detailed documents about high availability zone redundancy and SLAs in Azure SQL Managed Instance.
That's all for this video. Thanks a lot and have a great rest of your day.